Hi digital marketers, this is Faisal Amin. Welcome back to my channel. Today I will show you how to track any kind of lead form for Facebook conversion API and with the user data by using of custom JavaScript with Google Tag Manager for both browser and server. So this is our lead form. We have to track this form with our all user data like first name, last name, number, email and all of that and we have to track any kind of form like that. So before we started, I presume that you are already know that how to create tag trigger variables and how to work Facebook conversion API. If you do not yet, I will giving the link on the description box. You can firstly check it out, then come back to this tutorial. We have to track this from by button click. So for that, I am just create a trigger. That is, I am just naming it all pages. That will be the click all element and all clicks so that we have to, to able to track this lead. So back to our form and we just type my name and select it and go to the inspect. Here we find out a element. So click the right button and copy JS path and then go to console and paste it and just type dot value we can see that our value we have to find out that here this is my name so we just copy the total element then back to our google tag manager and go to variable section and new variable variable configuration that will be the javascript variable so we have to put a small javascript code that is function first bracket start first bracket close second bracket start second bracket close and just to type return and paste the code and giving the variable name that is cgs first name save it so just go to the preview option and check out that our custom javascript user data are stored in our variable section or not so continue and go to our site close it go to the contact and giving the name and that is test and send message back to tag assistant and that is our click go to the variable here you can see the cgs first name Faisal R store it in our variable section so by according this process we have to create all of user data so again go to our lead form then last name we have to put any kind of name so again and click the right button go to inspect and here is the element we have to copy this element so click the right button copy click the copy js path go to console paste it dot value again you can see that our output is looking as it is our lead form so again the same process we just copy the element and again go to the variable section new variable variable configuration custom javascript again we have to write the function and the same process return paste it the element here that is cgs last name save it then we are completed first name and last name as a variable user data variable so again go to our form then we put the number and again the same process copy it inspect copy js path console and here put it here find out the value here so copy the element and go back to our variable sections create the variable so for that click custom javascript return paste the value so we just giving the name that is cgs phone number save it so again back to our lead form we are already created custom javascript variable for first name last name and the phone number last one is email address so again we are just select this email address and go to the inspect and copy the element from it copy js path go to the console and paste it dot value we are find out our email address so output as output so copy the element from it go to our google tag manager variable section new variable configuration custom javascript function return paste it that is cgs email addresses save it so now we are finally check out that our all custom javascript variable are stored in our variable sections or not so for 
that we are go to the preview section continue go to our website we just close it and that is our lead form we just change the name that is john martin and change the number and email address and email address will be the info at my email address and message will be the test then finally click the send message so go to our tag assistant and and go to the click and the variable sections we can see that our email address cgs email address are showing the value first name are also last name phone number all are showing the values so finally we are creating the lead form trigger then we go to our all pages trigger which we are created for the button click tracking so go it and some clicks we are just find out the conditions from our tag assistant there is a click that is our button click so we are find out the conditions how to track this button so here we can see that from classes we putting these conditions that is from classes and wp from submit so again back to our trigger section in google tag manager and find out the form classes here that is our form classes equals and paste the conditions we are copy from the tag assistant here we are changing the trigger name that is event lead save it so now we are create the lead form tag we are already created triggers firstly we have to go to the our developer facebook.com and here you can see the parameter that is the customer information parameters and you can see that for email uh, facebook are required the hash hashing before we are sending the all user data parameter with the lead event firstly we have to complete it, the hashing process of all of parameters so for that i am go to the google tag manager and creating the hashing process for each and every user data parameter which i want to send with the lead form for facebook conversion api so go to the variable section and then new variable configuration custom javascript here i just paste the code and firstly we have to pick the first name so we are just put our variable here you can see that cgs first name we are just pick the first one that is cgs first name and variable will be the hash first name save it again the same process we are just copy the variable and convert it for the last name hash last name so here the same process we just put our variable which we are created that is last name cgs last name we just adding our value save it and open it again and we are creating for the phone number so just change the variable name that is for the phone number here again the same process we are just change the phone number cgs phone number save it we are creating three hash user data variable last one is email so again the same process we are open the phone number hashing and copy it just adding the email so here change the variable name here also put the email variable here you can see that cgs email address save it we are done all of user data variable to hashing process so now go to our tag options and creating the lead tag for facebook conversion api before we are created also triggers and we are also created all of hashing variables which we want to send with our lead event so new tag tag configuration facebook pixel and here you can know that we just adding our pixel id we are already created the constant variable from it and here is a options you can also select the from a standard event lead and also custom event so we are just go for the custom lead and go to the object properties add property and go to our developer facebook.com user data recommendations you can see that parameter will be the em so you just copy the em from it and go to our google manager paste it and here we adding our email hash email so you can see that hash email that is we are created it before and then go to our developer facebook recommended parameter so for phone number we are copy the ph from it and paste it and also the 
putting our hash phone number you can see that hash phone number we are created for that so now uh, we are adding our first name and also the last name so for the first name we are copy the fn from developer.facebook.com back to google tag paste it that is hash first name and at party because you can see that in the right side that is hashing required so for that we are hashing the all of variable the for the last name that will be the ln paste it hash last name go to more settings here we also adding our event id because we want to deduplicate the lead for both browser and server so we are adding the event id and triggering which trigger we have to create that is event lead so we are done just giving the tag name that is facebook lead form save it so now go to the preview options and check out that our lead form is perfectly working or not with our all user data parameters so for that go to the preview continue go to our lead form so we are just putting our all details and that is our email address and that will be the test and click the finally send message here you can see that our facebook lead form tag fired see our lead form tag fired perfectly and you can also see that all of our user data variable are showing here name phone number first name last name and also see the hash value that is not the variable value that is the hash value so, so go to our event manager and go to the test event here you can see that our lead form are showing here and all of user data variable are receiving in the facebook event manager so for the browser setting we are create the lead form now go to the server so for that go to our tag section and create a new tag tag configuration j4 event and also measurement id g 123456 that is the random measurement id we have to put it and event name will be the same with the browser site int so for the browser site as a custom event we are putting the lead so as usual we are also here putting the event name as a lead and then event parameter we have to add parameter so we are adding the event id and add parameter for the email address we are adding our hash email which we are created that is our hash email add parameter and user data phone number we are also adding our phone number hash phone number and also adding the first name and lumps last name user data at this first name so adding adding the hash first name and also the last name hash last name and we are adding all of parameter which we are need for sending with the lead event and triggering will be the event lead which we are created before and that is for the server fb ss for server site that is for the lead save it then we are go to the preview sections both browser and server and check out that our lead event working for both browser and server or not so for that so go to preview and also for the server site int we are go to the preview option connect that is our form we are just fill up the form and that is test and send message we can see that our fbss lead form which is we are created for servers this tag is fired perfectly with the all parameters value that is our hashing value we are back to our tag assistant for server site here you can see that our lead form is perfectly working you can see that lead and request are also showing the 200 outgoing is 200 incoming is 200 so you can say that our browser and server site are both sites are working perfectly for lead form and as well as the all user data and and you can see that sending the all user data phone number hashing phone number first name you can see that first name and last name and also email addresses so back to our event manager you can see that our lead event are working for the server and as well as the browser so finally we are set up lead form for facebook conversion api with all user 
data variable using custom javascript with google tag manager for both server and browser so thanks for watching this video i will see in the next video with a new topic thank you